Welcome to chrislinfoco.uk. Uh, this is a tutorial on iTunes and how to upload it, uh, your podcast to iTunes. Uh, last tutorial we looked at making the RSS uh, feed code with XML uh, and you can do that by going to the URL that's listed above and you can find the code there and you can just copy and paste the file out and place it into a text wrangler file and then make any alterations that you wish from there. I've made my additions uh, to the file so we've got uh, it here if we look at it in text wrangler I've changed all the code added in all the bits uh, so that it should work and then we need to upload it to our uh, web server so I'm in our FTP software and I've opened it up I've got the folders open that I want it to go and I just drag and drop the file onto the folder that I want it to go into and it will then copy it in if I make an update and the files already there I just click continue and the file will now be on the server so we want to check whether it's working or not so we can go uh, to our file and if you go to the URL where it's stored at uh, and if you use the word feed rather than HTTP you'll see this uh, which tell you that if it's seen the files it should be working so as it's working we now want to test whether it's working with iTunes so what we do is we open up iTunes and we go to the menu called advanced and then we go subscribe to podcast so we click on that and then we paste in the URL that we've got up there for our feed so we copy that back to iTunes and then paste that into there and then click OK and it should start to come up and if that looks OK to me if there was something wrong it would come up with little exclamation marks in different on the left so that uh, it shows you that something wrong you then need to go back into the code and find out what it is so now we're ready that the feeds working uh, iTunes can accept the files which is a PDF file and a video file and we just need to now register this site with iTunes so if we go back to iTunes store we go onto the podcast button and we go down to submit a podcast so it loads up and then we just follow these steps so what we do is we put in the feed of the XML file so paste in the same uh, file again it's all there you can only see the end but it's all there and then click continue. You need to have an Apple account for this, so I'm just going to log in to make sure it's my account. Just wait for iTunes to tick over and check all that information. And this is what it's telling me. So uh, just give me a rough review of the podcast. And here I can put in the subcategory, so I'm putting in education, higher education. Uh, and then submit and then you've done it you've now submitted it to iTunes now comes a bit of a wait while you uh, wait for Apple to approve your site to make sure it's not offensive content or and that they approve of it and then in a couple of days uh, you should start to appear on the podcast as you start to search for it uh, in the search area Okay, sometime later you want to come back uh, to iTunes and then you want to uh, see whether your uh, iPod has been uploaded. What you should get is an email from iTunes saying that your podcast is acceptable and they give you a link that you, you can link to. But then go to uh, the iStore and then type in the name of your podcast and then you should be able to see your podcast up available. And this is the one we uploaded. If we click on that, uh, there it is. And that's uh, how you work on a podcast. Uh, if you need more information, go to chrislinfoco.uk. You can also see me on iTunes and on uh, YouTube. Uh, see you for the next episode.